Hey guys, welcome back to Gunshots. This week we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to do a product review and later on in the show, if you hang about, I'm going to announce the winner of our million views giveaway. The channel's done a million views, you can believe it, and um, <laughs> well certainly not me. Um, I've managed to um, get Bible Shooting Ground to uh, give me some bits and bobs to give away. Um, if you entered on my Facebook page, then your name has been drawn out of a hat and we'll announce it later on. So on to the product review. Uh, this week I'm taking a look at the Sens DX5. It's the new top of the range uh, digital air defender from Sens and the guys at Plugs, please take a look at the URL below, go take a look at their website by the way, um, they've sent me a, a sample unit to test. For your knowledge, I am not keeping these, these are going back, I've not been given these as a freebie, this isn't an advert, this is a review, okay. So the DX5 is basically the new top of the range. I've got the older uh, uh, Proflex, with the uh, kind of the Mark One, if you will, of the uh, uh, their range, um, which has some significant differences from the new top of the range one. Let's talk about the uh, the big differences. So mine has a variable rear stat with a, um, a combined on/off and volume switch, and no um, processing modes. So basically, you turn them on. That's it. Um, the new model comes with um, a. a a fairly significant raft of differences, including differences to the electronic processing. Um, the unit itself is in now a gunmetal finish rather than black, and a, a range of battery trays is available. Um, there are a range of metallic colours, which I've never done before, uh, kind of a champagne, a silver, a gold, a red, green and blue. Um, there are um, some differences to the actual way that the, you interact with them. So you've got a, now a toggle switch for the volume, um, which also allows you to change the processing mode as well as an on-off um, switch, just a, a push-button on-off switch. Um, an on-off is instantaneous. On mine, when you turn them on, you sort of rotate the rear start, and about five seconds later, you get a tritone. With these, you push the button, and a little voice tells you what, what uh, processing mode you're in immediately. Um, those processing modes are another big difference. The um, additional money, um, 699 for a set of these versus 479 for the older ones that I've got um, is basically the quality of the audio processing. Uh, there are five modes, game mode, clay mode, range mode, hunter mode and finally wireless mode. Um, the differences between them tend to be with the amount of reverb, reverb that you get uh, and the amount of like kind of background noise that you pick up which are sort of as you would guess a game mode you are um, absolutely listening for everything, the, the sort of beat of a wing, um, the sound of a beater's flag, whereas in clay mode you're not worried about that kind of stuff. And I think range mode is one that, that, that deadens down most sound because you want to concentrate. Um, switching between the modes is literally just press and hold the toggle switch and it actually tells you which mode you're in. And the wireless comms mode is particularly interesting because the unit comes with um, an induction neck loop. So you can actually plug this into your phone have it around your neck, just like an induction loop for a hearing aid, and it allows you to use your phone without having to hold it up to your ear, so just like a, um, almost like a Bluetooth headset, but without the Bluetooth. In terms of what's in the box, you get um, some cleaning wipes, the induction loop headset, um, a little uh, bulb cleaner for doing your, um, uh, your moulded plugs out, um, some spare batteries, um, a little carabiner uh, that obviously attaches to your carry case. The carry case is, is quite a nice little sturdy unit. And some uh, some gel, which is a cleaning gel stroke lubricant. Um, the unit is basically the same shape and size as the old one. So basically, if you've still got a set of uh, moulds done, you can just basically slot them in. That's all I've done. Mine are uh, the same ones. I've just swapped out the electronics. And um, they're fantastic. The... Um, Audio quality is basically the biggest thing that I've noticed, as well as the uh, the, uh, the difference in the controls. The on-off is dead handy compared to mine, um, and it's instantaneous. I mean, you do find it with mine, like, you turn them on, and then you kind of wait in there thinking, has my battery gone flat? I'm not sure. But these, straight away. Um, the audio processing modes, I kind of messed around with them, and I found that I like game mode about the best, simply because just it suited my level of hearing. But actually wearing it for game shooting, it just, it was absolutely brilliant. Um, the uh, the ability to hear, you know, the, the, the tiniest of noises and just when you're waiting was uh, was brilliant. Fantastic audio quality, really well built. They're um, water resistant, they're not waterproof. You, well, you wouldn't want to go swimming in them anyway, but you wouldn't worry about getting them in the rain. And um, they've just been really, really comfortable and dead easy to wear. Um, I've had no issues with them at all. The units are covered with a two-year warranty and I understand that the first two services are free. There's a minor service and a major service. Um, in terms of servicing, I think they basically clean all your battery contacts, replace the batteries, blah, blah, blah. Um, but worth knowing. 
Um, so that's about it, the Sens DX5. At 699, they're not cheap, but I think if you're looking for the absolute best in terms of uh, active hearing protection, look no further. Hey guys, it's time to draw the winner of the Million Views giveaway. Donated by Bile Shooting Ground, we've got a GMK range bag, gun mat, uh, a Beretta Gamekeeper, um, gun slip, and a cleaning kit. And the winner is Mark Langmaid from Kent. Now Mark, um, if you can get in touch with me please mate, um, either via uh, the Facebook page or drop me a, um, a message on YouTube and I'll, uh, I'll get hold of you, get your address and I'll get this stuff in the post to you. Congratulations mate, well done. Guys, thanks very much as ever for tuning in. Um, let's do another million views in the coming year and uh, let's see if we've gone at 5,000 subscribers. We're about three and a half at the minute, so 5,000 would be nice. And um, as ever, please subscribe if you enjoyed it, drop me a like. Um, take a look at my profile on Instagram, which is at Lloydy P. And as ever, go take a look at the Bible Shooting Ground. Uh, and they support this channel. And um, without it, there wouldn't be a channel. Special thanks this week to the guys at Plugs Hearing. Um, they sent me the, uh, the test units to take a look at and to review for you. Um, so a big thanks to Paul and his missus. Thanks very much, mate. Um, and I'll get these back to you in the post. <laughs> All right. Guys, thanks very much for tuning in. And I'll see you next time.